ever wondered why some people seem to have a gift for music? Have you ever wished that you could play by ear, sing in tune, improvise and jam? You're in the right place. Time to turn those wishes into reality. Welcome to the Musicality Podcast with your host, Christopher Sutton. Today we're going to be talking about finding your note. This is an exercise which George Bevan from the Music at Moncton blog developed to help people who think they can't sing to take their first steps to becoming a capable and confident singer. We talked about it in our recent interview here on the podcast. If you've ever worried that you can't sing at all, or you have a friend who's convinced that they're tone deaf, the exercise I'm going to explain will be really useful for you. I first spoke to George a few years back when we were developing SingTrue, our interactive app to help you learn to sing. I was so impressed by his approach that we implemented his idea of finding your note as one of the first exercises inside the app. And since then, almost half a million people have used it to find their note and take that first step towards singing. It is a simple exercise, but it's powerful. When somebody joins Musical U and tells us that they can't sing in tune, we explain that there are two possible causes. The first is the voice. Do you have basic vocal control to make your voice produce the pitch that you want it to? And the second is your ears. Are you clearly hearing the pitch that you're aiming for and accurately hearing whether or not your singing is on target? This Find Your Note exercise tackles just the voice part, being able to sing just one note and hold its pitch. There's more to come after in terms of matching pitch to a note you heard and having good vocal control to move between pitches accurately. Those are things that we have training modules for inside Musical U, but none of it's any use if you're convinced that you can't even sing one note. The trouble is that most people jump ahead about seven steps. They immediately try and sing a song, maybe in the car or at karaoke night, and then they're surprised and disappointed when all the pitches don't come out right. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. First, you need to be able to sing one note. And then you need to learn how to sing other notes and control your voice as you move between them. Then you can worry about verses and choruses and lyrics and everything else. George's exercise is built on a key insight. We actually all have some degree of vocal control, whether we know it or not. As you listen to me talking right now, my voice is going up and down in pitch, as part of how I convey meaning with my words. My voice is moving through part of my vocal range, and it's producing different pitches that my brain intends it to. So clearly, we do all have a foundation for singing. Otherwise, we would all talk like robots. Unfortunately, most people's experience of checking if they can sing is to be played a note, often on piano, and then be asked to sing back that note. That seems simple enough, but actually even that is skipping a couple of steps. George spins that around. Instead of hearing a specific note and then trying to sing it, he begins by having the student sing, and then he tells them what note that is. Now, we can't do this exercise fully right here, because unfortunately podcasts aren't interactive, but I'm going to talk you through it and tell you how you can do it in full. The goal of this exercise is to find just one pitch that you can comfortably sing. We're going to call this your note. And you'll know that whatever happens, singing your note will always feel easy and comfortable. Here it goes. I'm going to ask you to sing ah on whatever pitch comes out. We know you can do it because you can speak. It's like when you're at the dentist and they say, say ah. So relax, take a breath, and just sing a pitch, whatever comes out. How did it go? With the Sing True app, you automatically now get told the name of that note. If you're doing this exercise with a musical friend, they can use an instrument and their ear to identify the note for you. Or you can use a digital instrument tuner or a tuner app on your phone to identify the note. Were you too nervous to sing at all? Try this instead. You remember that robot from before? First say, hi, my name is Jeff, or whatever your name may be. Now say it in a monotone voice like a robot, and hold the last word. Hi, my name is Jeff. That last sound you made was a note. In my case, Jeff was an F sharp. Unfortunately, in a podcast, I can't tell you the name of the note that you just sang, but rest assured, it was a note. And you can use the methods I just mentioned to find out what its name is. 
From there, you can try singing another note a bit higher or lower. And we can start to build on that with developing your ability to match pitch and have vocal control. You've sung one note, so there's no reason you can't sing many more, all in tune. In the Sing True app and our training modules inside Musical U, we build on this step by step to producing a clear and steady pitch, and then beginning to match the pitch you sing to be the same as the specific pitch you hear. There's lots of visual feedback to show you if you're getting it right or wrong, and exercises for your ears to help you develop that side of things too. Sometimes people get a bit hung up, so I want to clarify your note isn't set in stone. While we do name it like that, it's entirely possible that if you do the exercise again tomorrow, you'll get a slightly different note. I might get a G instead of an F sharp, for example. But we have put a pin in the range of all possible pitches and found that yes, you can sing a note that's around this pitch. It's not a defining characteristic of you as a singer forevermore. It's just a great starting point for understanding what your voice can do. Naturally, George also has a much more fully developed process that he uses in person with students. But personally, I just love this initial exercise to show you that if you can talk, you can sing. At least one note. From there, it's a matter of building up your ability step by step. Singing isn't all or nothing. Just because you can't yet sing a whole song totally in tune, it doesn't mean that you can't sing. If you've just gone through this find your note exercise with me, then you'll know that you can sing one note. And from there, many more can follow. Thank you for listening to the Musicality Podcast. This episode has ended, but your musical journey continues. Head over to musicalitypodcast.com where you will find the links and resources mentioned in this episode, as well as bonus content exclusive for podcast listeners. That's musicalitypodcast.com.